Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own Gorilla Tag copy in Unity. Now I am redoing this tutorial because basically my very first tutorial that absolutely blew up, uh, it was very sloppy. I did no editing except for like cutting out the first parts. Um, I did no editing at all, uh, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it and it's actually going to be a good tutorial this time. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go down into the description and go into my Discord server. It should be discord.gg slash beetleshelp. And then you want to scroll down to how to make a GTAC copy. And then go to the Mediafire link and download this. Now, before you download this, what you want to do is you want to go into your browser. And then what you want to do is you want to search up uh, win run. and then download this or click this and then click download winrar and then click download winrar and then it should start downloading right here then you just want to click this and then it should pop up this and then you just want to click install then you just want to click ok make sure don't you don't do anything this just click ok and then click done and then you have winrar installed now you can go ahead and download the mountain beta project and then just click download right here and then it should start downloading. Now while this is downloading, what you want to do is you want to open a new tab and then go to playfab.com, which will also be in the description. And then you want to go into the des description again and then type in photon engine. And then open this one. Or just go down in the description, whatever. Uh, then you want to click sign in or sign up if you don't have an account. And then do the same for playfab. So once you have both of these open, what you want to do is you want to go to your photon and then click create new app. And then you want to make sure this is real time and then name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to do tutorial. And then click create. And then create a new app. Turn this to voice and then name this your game name. And then voice after it. It doesn't have to be, it's just to keep it organized. Then you want to go to your playfab. And then you should see like studio or new studio and then my game. But if you don't want that, you can just click new studio and then create one right here. But I'm not going to do that because I already have one right here. What you want to do is you want to create a new title and then name it your game name. I'm just going to do tutorial game. You can upload a game logo, but you don't have to. And then just, you just click create title. Then you want to scroll down to add-ons, and then you want to scroll down to Photon, click on Photon, and then scroll down and then click install Photon, and then how to set up Photon real-time with PlayFab. For these next steps, you do not want to reveal or show any of this to anybody, just a disclaimer. You can if you want to, if you trust them, but I wouldn't recommend it because they can do some bad stuff to your PlayFab and Photon. But what you want to do is you want to paste this in here. You want to copy this right here. And then you want to paste it in here. And then you want to delete all of this with the bracket brackets. Go back to your playfab and then copy these five letters and numbers. It won't always be only numbers. And then you would just want to copy it and then paste it in right there. You want to highlight all of it and then copy it and go back to your photon. Go back to your tutorial voice right here or your voice you want to click manage scroll down to custom server and then you want to highlight everything delete it and then paste everything in here and then just click save and then go to your dashboard and then do the same for tutorial right here and then you want to custom server highlight all of this paste it and then click save then you want to copy your app id right here and then paste it into your real-time app ID. Make sure it's the blue one for the real-time app ID up here. And then for the yellow one, you want to copy this and then paste it in here and then click install photon. Then what you want to do is you want to go back to the discord and then download the DLC for games.json. And then you will see it downloaded right here. You want to go back to your PlayFab and then go to economy. And then you want to go to currency legacy new currency and then you want to do it this exact stuff you want to type in sr display name shiny rocks all caps 
And then initial deposit, this is basically how much they start off with. So I'm gonna do 100K. And then recharge rate units per day is how much they get per day. So I'm gonna do 5,000. And then recharge maximum, you just wanna set this to nine nines. So just like so. And you wanna click save currency, go to catalogs legacy, click upload JSON, choose file, and then you want to go to wherever you downloaded it. So I probably downloaded it here, right here, DLC for JSON. You would just wanna open this and put that in there. And then it would upload the JSON. Then once you have your downloaded MTN beta project on your desktop uh, from wherever you have it, you want to hold, like, hover over it, right click, and then with Renoir installed, you should have this new tab and then click extract files. Then you just wanna click okay. And it should start extracting right here to your desktop. Let this load until it's 100% done. And then you can delete this old one. So right click on it and then delete it. Then you have this project right here. What you wanna do then is you wanna open your Unity Hub. Then once your Unity Hub opened, you want to click this little add button right here. And then you wanna scroll up to your desktop or wherever you have your mountain beta project and then you want to open this and then open this vc fix mountain beta so basically you want to open this file and then there's going to be another file inside of here you want to open this just like so and then click open if it says that you cannot open it or it's not valid then you didn't open the vc fix mountain beta uh thing right here you didn't open it and then click okay then if you have like a little warning sign right here what you want to do is you just want to click on it and then you want to download the current version that it's meant for then you just want to click on it and then it should start opening if you're opening it for the first time it should take a while so just don't worry about that great so now once it's opened what you want to do is you just want to go here to console and then click clear to make sure there aren't any errors if there are then you're on the wrong unity version and you want to make sure that is it is on 2021.3.21f1 and then reopen then you're going to see well this isn't really a gorilla tech copy yet what you want to do is you want to go to scenes double click that double click gorilla Gorilla tag, and then double click this Unity logo. Then, as you can see, your Gorilla tag scene will open up and it will have everything from city all the way to forest and mountains. Then, what you want to do is you want to go up here to the Gorilla, you want to click on it, and drag the offline VR rig down, just like so, so that they're on the floor. But now you might think that this is it and your Gorilla Tech copy is done. Well, no, that's not really it. There's still one more thing you have to do before you can say that it's yours. What you want to do is you want to go to your hierarchy and then you want to type in PlayFab Authenticator, just like so. And then you want to click it and then right click on the script and then click Edit Script. What you want to do is you want to go here, highlight everything in here and then click Delete. And then you want to go to your PlayFab copy these five letters and numbers, and then paste it in here. Then what you want to do is you want to go back to your PlayFab, go to your add-ons, and then go to your P Photon, and then you want to highlight this and copy it, and then you want to paste it right here in the first one. Then you want to copy the second one, and then paste it right here in the second one. You want to copy this again you want to copy your five letters and numbers and then paste it right here and then you want to scroll all the way down to application.quit right here it should be on line 274 and then just delete this just like so then click save and then you can exit out of it now if you want your gorilla to spawn in tutorial up here then just skip ahead but if you don't, what you want to do is you want to drop down player, go to Gorilla Player, and scroll down to Gorilla Tagger script, and disable tutorial, check that on, and then he will spawn right here in Stump, always. Then we can go ahead and test play it by just clicking this little test play at the top. And as you can see, he spawned right here. And then with the Gorilla Player, 
if you don't have it selected, you can just type in Gorilla Player. And then it should be the first one. Not Gorilla Players, just Gorilla Player. And then you can drag him across here. And drag him out of the stump hole. Oops. What the freak? Just like so, servers work. Also, if your gorilla looks just like this, don't worry about it. It's completely normal. It's just because you don't have your Oculus connected to your computer. But yeah, now you have a working gorilla type copy.